everybody, Thwargle here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thwarg launcher. Uh, this is going to be version 461. And we're going to take a look at simple mode only to this episode. So I'd like to just talk you through, if you just downloaded Thwarg launcher and you just want to get into a server really quickly, um, you're not worried about doing profiles or any of that stuff, this is, this is when you want to use simple mode. Um, it basically just put an account name, password, and you can click launch right off the bat. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. So the first thing that you'll see when you uh, install Thorg Launcher and run it is the help window pops up and you'll see a, a, a main window here. So the first thing you want to do um, before you click into the simple launcher uh, is just hit OK here and verify that your AC client file location is set to the correct Asheron's call client. So right here you can either double click this box or click the triple dots right here. Um, and this is going to take you to where it thinks Asheron's call is installed. Now make sure that you're not pointing to aclauncher.exe. Make sure you're pointing to acclient.exe. The launcher was used when servers were live. Uh, that won't work for emulation. You need to make sure that you're pointing to AC client. Once you're positive that you're pointing to the correct AC client, um, go ahead and hit open there and it'll save that link down here. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click help again and disable show at startup because we, we're okay right now and click simple launcher. Now this is going to open a little tiny window. You can expand this window down so that you can see all your servers. Uh, a thing to note, once you resize these windows, if I put the window up here, for example, and I expand this thing down, if I go full screen, anything like that, it's going to remember next time you launch how you have your window set. It'll remember which monitor it's on, all that kind of stuff. So you set it how you like it, and then when you close it, it'll remember and, uh, and come up that way next time. So you'll see a couple things here. Um, you'll see... The Megaduck AC, P server, U server, and CMOSCI dev server. Okay, these are the servers that are in the curated list of servers for just quickly getting into a game. Currently, there are two emulation platforms. There's Ace and Fat AC. Ace doesn't have any currently running um, hosted servers, so they're, they're not going to show up in a list here. Um, so what you can do here, you can see a green check mark and a red X. When you launch the application, it'll check immediately, and then it'll pull once every five minutes to keep that check mark up to date. So that is a server that's online. In five minutes from when we launch this, it'll check again and make sure and keep this status up to date. So we'll see right now that Megaduck's online and use plugin servers online. The very next thing you see down here is the account name. Um, so we'll just say Thwargle. Well, let's do um, Thwarg Launcher, and we'll do... A test is fine, doesn't matter. You want to make sure that you put a password that someone's not going to guess, um, but you want to not put something in there that you'd be worried that somebody found out about. Okay, so the, they are salted passwords, but there's no security on this stuff right now. Someone can easily get in there and figure out passwords. So don't use something that you'd use for anything else. Um, just make a unique thing here that... And it'll remember it as well, so it's not like you have to, you know, write down 50 passwords or anything. So, um, again, once you once you have something set here, I'll even show you. I'll close this, and then when I launch it again, I'll launch Thorg Launcher, and when it pops up, it pops up in the same spot. It does a check. It's checking to make sure these servers are online. It goes nope, and you'll see right here Thorg Launcher that we just switched from Thorgle to Thorg Launcher, and the passwords rem remembered. Um, the next thing is decal injection. You can launch and have decal, which is the plugin manager for Asheron's call, uh, injected for you so you can use all of your old plugins that you're used to um, as long as they're compatible with the emulation. I know a lot of them um, are have some features that don't work and, and may crash out your client. So what you can do is deselect that and launch the game just regular old Asheron's call. Um, if you're sure your decal is going to work, you can turn that on and it'll, it'll go ahead and just right off the bat do that. So we'll go ahead and launch into a game real quick. I'll show you. We can click Megaduck or Thwarg Launcher Test. And we'll go ahead and leave decal on and click Launch. It popped up on the other window. I apologize. I don't think I can drag it down. See, you'll, you'll see it comes up. I think it's going to flip back onto the other monitor. Nope, there we go. We're good. Um, I'm not going to create a character because I, I think once it goes full screen, it will switch monitors on me because I have that set in my um, preferences file. But you'll see I, I got logged in. I'm in Megaduck. Um, I don't have a character on my launcher test account, obviously. But um, you can create a character, get in, play the game, do whatever you need to do. And you notice when I um, launched it that there was a Verindi window on the left hand side, on the right hand side rather, um, and it didn't play any of the animations. So if we exit real quick and I turn decal off, 
It's going to be kind of loud, so headphone users beware, but you'll see. And I'll click through it so it's not blaring you out. But um, the, the startup windows happened, and I didn't get the Verindy panel on the right-hand side. So, you know, no decal. When I log this in, it's going to be just regular old uh, Asheron's call. So uh, I think that's going to do it for... Um, simple launch if you have any questions feel free to get on the discord i'll have links in the description for everything to get a hold of uh, me or any of the other developer uh, um, community um, and stay tuned if you'd like to take a look at some of the stuff you can do with advanced view until next time bye